Hey guys, it's Judas Game here, and I'm back with another video. Okay, let's get to it. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Where is the video? Like, my phone be out there. Sorry about that, guys. Look it up, you guys. Search it up. Yeah, wanna see? Wanna see? Just posted it, so. Ugh. Wanna see? Woman in a purple dress. To Madeira which is the birthplace of my parents. It was pretty normal for us to go annually, as our grandparents were living there. We would sleep in one of our... A few years ago, me and my family went on our yearly holiday to Madeira, which is the birthplace of my parents. It was pretty normal for us to go annually, as our grandparents were living there. Okay. We would sleep in one of our grandparents' home, and during the day, we would go to festivals. Okay. If you do not know much about Madeira, then this story will probably give you a better idea. It's not that a physical thing occurred that holiday. It was just this nightmare that became very real for me as a child. Okay. As I said before, I was staying at my grandparents' house while in Madeira. I had a room to myself on the upper floor. It was pretty creepy since my grandmother loved Victorian style dolls. See, and that is one thing, that is one thing that I do not like. I do not like dolls. And I'm a teenager myself. I do not like dolls. Nah. That is like, your grandma had had the dolls in your room? Or could she put it somewhere else, like in a closet or a storage room or something like that? I don't get it. I do not get it at all. Look at that. Look. Your grandma need to change. Oh, nah. Mm-mm-mm. That is ridiculous. Look at that. Wow. Can't be me. Once I was able to fall asleep, I had a creepy dream that I can't forget. I woke up, and from my bed, I could hear movement on the floor. I looked down to see that the floor was covered in black insects, just Ew. crawling around. I could not see the almond brown wood floorboards, and began to yell for help. Someone opened my door, and I saw my little brother come in, but behind him was a woman in a hideous purple dress. I never saw this woman before. But before my brother even came closer to me, I saw the woman force her hand into his back and tear out his heart. I remember screaming in the dream, and all the woman said was, Your parents aren't here. And I woke up. I was so scared that I went into the next room where my brother should have been asleep. But because it was dark, I couldn't see him. Well, I was a dumb kid. My anxiety level rose even higher. I ran out, went downstairs, and none of my parents were around. I started to panic more because of what that lady in my dream said, and I started to cry even more. <laughs> then I heard my older brother call my name from up the stairs. Hey. The stairs I just ran down. Wow. I told him I had a bad dream, and he stayed in my room. After showing me that my little brother was snoring away in his bed. The next morning, my brother told my parents how I behaved. So my mother asked me what happened. I told her about the dream with the lady in the hideous purple dress. My mother's face became serious, and she looked worried. I didn't know why, since that was unusual for her. About two years later, I was going through my parents' wedding album in our home in Madeira. While I was sorting out the top floor of the house with my younger brother, I noticed that one of the pictures was ripped in half. I thought it was unusual, 
So I began looking through to see where the other half was. It wasn't in the album. I brushed it off. About an hour later, I was going through one of the drawers in the living room cabinet. I saw this picture of a woman in a per- See, 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 see. That's crazy. Look at that. I don't know, could probably be like a relative or something. Whatever it is, her smile is creaky. She smiles like this. Like, who smiles like that? Who smiles like that? Look. Oh, nah. And look at her chin. Why her chin go like... That's crazy. Full dress. She looked almost identical to the woman in my dream. It was the same dress. I began to get goosebumps, oh, nice. so I put the album on top of the table and opened it to the page with a teared up picture. I began to shiver once the tear of both pictures fit perfectly well together. With worry, I began to ask my mother who was in the image. All I know to this day is that she is perceived as a witch and fled with my maternal uncle from Madeira. Soon after, the whole community began to believe it. This is possibly all just a coincidence, a but it does send a shiver down my spine. I've never met this woman, but she appeared in my dreams. I have no idea on whether or not I will forget the specific oh, no. details of that dream, especially since I found out more about this woman, who is my aunt-in-law. Oh, nah. Divorce papers. It's like, no. Come on, some visa. Nope. None of that. That's weird. That's out of, that's, that's out of, like, order. That's weird. The witch bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nah. Yo, that is crazy. See, see, see. That's wow. That's crazy. What would you guys do? Like, what would you do? What would you guys do? I don't know. Me tripping anyway. You know what I'm saying? Going to people, like, partying with people you don't know. Then the grandma had, like, dolls or something. The brother was tripping. He said, like, hey. But you didn't hear none of that. And the parents. They didn't hear, they didn't hear nothing that was going on. For real? That's what we're doing? Really? Seriously? That's crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> That's crazy. Anyway. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, keep it cool, keep it classy. See you guys in the next one. See you guys in the next one, and there's going to be a lot of random videos coming up. You know, random videos and updates. All right? Peace. That is crazy. But, all right.